Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is, well, I guess I gotta put it in drive. It is Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is, as usual. And something different for, I don't know, the foreseeable future. I switched out the 16 to 35 G Master for the 20 millimeter F1.8 G, just cause. I also was watching a Chris Brockhurst video this morning and it gave me a great idea for the little jog joystick thingamajigger on the back of this a a7 IV. I don't use it for anything. I don't move my focus thingamajigger, which is generally what that's used for, or go through any of the menu items and all that kind of stuff. He has his set for clear image zoom so that he can literally zoom in and zoom out. And I thought, wow, that's freaking brilliant. Never even thought of that. Cause I don't use clear image zoom all that often, but since I was gonna use the 20 millimeter lens, I thought, okay, well, it, it might be nice. So it, it basically takes me, I can go 20 to 30 millimeters, not quite the 35. Again, not quite 16, but it's enough because I mean, I'm clearly in frame. You don't get as much. I have a little bit more of that side showing. So if my wife were in the car, I'd have to slide it over a little bit. Although I'm sure she wouldn't object to not being in the videos, but that's another thing. So yeah, I decided that I would do that. So I went through, I programmed a place in my, my menu to turn clear image zoom on and off if I felt the need. And I also then set that jog dial to actuate the zoom in and zoom out tried it when I was sitting in the, in the office and it works just fine. I mean, again, I'm not getting great reach, but sometimes if you just need just a wee little bit more, it's there. You know, I haven't used this 20 in a while, pretty much since I got the G Master. And I thought, eh, you know what? I mean, this used to be the one that I used all the time on the A7C and I'm all about it. So that's what we're doing today. I said yesterday that I haven't been to the boardwalk in a while. So let's go to the boardwalk. So I'm totally not watching what the hell I'm doing, walking out into traffic which is real smart to do around here. Oh, every time I come down here, not that I need reminding, but it all just does remind me of why I love Virginia Beach. Oh, just to walk down here and see the ocean. There are some people out there, good for them. And then there are some people not out there. Look at all the space. Very cool though. So I'm like way the hell away from Neptune Park. I'm not way a ways, but I'm a little bit away from the, the pier. <laughs> and then you gotta go way the hell down there to get to the other end. So, okay. This is boring and I'm hungry. All right, so I'm definitely feeling the difference between that 16 to 35 and, the, and this 20 millimeter. That, that extra four millimeters makes a heck of a difference. Now, one thing I'm surprised about though, as an aside, because that's right, I can deal with that, is the fact that there really isn't all that much wind down here, so it's not cold at all. I figured I'd just be freezing my ass off because I could see the flags, and it would led me to believe that it was a lot windier down here than it, than it is. It's not, and that's cool. But the fact remains that I'm really hungry, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time down here, and I'm not gonna walk all over the place. I'm gonna, in fact, try to find some place to go eat. So let's go do that. Okay, kids, back in the studio. I uh, have just been all over today doing all kinds of stuff. Went grocery shopping, ran errands, picked up packages, so on and so forth. And it's uh, still nice out, so I don't know. I, I might go for a walk. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. I know I got stuff for dinner. I don't know if that's what she's gonna want for dinner. We both saw a post from Pink Dingy that had these hot dogs that look amazing. So kind of thinking about that too, but okay. That's pretty much, uh, you know, the, how the day went. It's just all over the place, back and forth from one place to the other, doing the usual rigmarole of errands and everything. But somewhere in between there, I managed to, like in between my actual day job work calls, I, I managed to break things down even further. So now the whole thing with my Cinerig, it's all gone now. 
I pulled everything apart while there's still some of the center rig sitting here just because of the way I have all the cheese plates and everything mounted. It's done with the way that it needs to not be anymore because there was just a bunch of shit on there that I'm not using and I don't need to have on there anymore. I mean, I'm not gonna get rid of it though because it's all pretty useful and I could still just throw it back together really quick. I moved the LED panel like directly above the camera now so it's coming straight down on me and obviously I redid the lights to green because I'm in a green mood. I mean, it didn't take me that long to break it all down, but it's broken down good to go. Also removed the Ninja because I kept smacking into it every time I tried to put the camera on and it kept falling over and all that kind of stuff. And I haven't filmed using the Ninja in so long that I don't need it here. I'm just paring everything down even more to get as minimal as possible. Which leads me to the last thing that I said that I might do, which I did. And hold on to your ass there, Yankee Cowboy. I know you're going to flip, but I sold the Sigma 105 f1.4 and the Sony 40 millimeter. Basically, I traded them in at MPB for the Sony 135 G Master. Out with those, but in with the other thing. And now that was the last of my Sigma lenses. I am now all strictly Sony lenses. And you can thank the a7 IV for that because with it being set up so that you can only get the focus breathing compensation with this particular camera and that being one of my biggest peeves, that's pretty much when I decided, all right, before I go out and buy this a7 IV, let me see what lenses I have that work with it and all that kind of stuff. So bottom line, that's why I changed all my lenses over. So that's that. I have now pared everything down and I only have lenses that I have always wanted and that I use. Not every day, because I mean, obviously I don't use them every day and I don't go take pictures every day and blah, 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 blah. But I literally have pared everything down now with the exception of accessories to the point of, I'm, I'm, it just keeps getting better. I just keep paring everything down. And I'm sticking to my guns about getting rid of shit that I don't use and not buying new stuff. So, all right, yes, I got rid of the 105 and the 40, to get the 135 though. So, you know, that's kind of the way that goes. Sell old stuff, buy new stuff. So that's it, that's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.